Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an unusual video, which I haven't done before. As you probably know, I'm an avid sports fan. So I'm going to be going through my 2010 official AFL footy 2010 collector's cards supplied by the Sunday Times. Yeah, so this was 10 years ago. So that's going to be interesting to see what cards I've got, which players have moved on and who aren't playing anymore. So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm sorry if this is a pretty shit angle. It's the best angle I could do at this current moment. So yes, as I said before, this album is from 2010, which would have been the end of the 2009, like all the stats would have been 2009, but then 2010 would have been like when it came out. So yes, let's get going. So yeah, so this is almost 10 years ago. Or it is 10 years ago. And I've also got more other cards that are like either 10 years old or like from the between 2010 and 2020. So if this gets well perceived, I might make another one. Yes. So as you can see, the first page, I don't have the first one, who is Simon Goodwin, current... Melbourne Demons coach, I believe. Yeah. And then Andrew McCloy, Andrew McLeod. He was a good player. Jason Paul Pleasure. Bernie Vince. Retired a couple of years back. Simon Black. An exceptional player for the Brisbane Lions. Unlucky to win a premiership with them, I think. Jonathan Brown. He was another exceptional full forward. It's like... He would just be that person who would... Crash packs, wouldn't care for his own safety. He just cares to for the team. Yeah. There's the big Fev in Brisbane colours, which this was probably his first year at Brisbane, I think. Yeah. You've got young man Daniel Rich, still at the Lions. Oh, current... Recently retired Bryce Gibbs, playing for the Carlton Blues before. Yeah. He had a good career. As that's Chris Judd, the, the unit, former Eagles player. He was definitely a good player in his right. But I think the Blues lost that Kennedy Judd trade. Cruiser, who recently re announced his retirement couple months ago, I think. Mark Murphy, still going strong at the age of how old? At the age of 33, still going strong. What? There's no Cade Simpson. Wow. Okay, I'm going to try and go pretty quickly out of this thing. So, yeah. you got Alan Dynak, a uh, forward for Collingwood. you got their captain for a couple years, Nick Maxwell, who's currently at the... Collingwood again, I think. Pendles, the close to be record game holder, unless he already is, for Collingwood. You've got Swanee, who's recently announced he's making a fake comeback. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> Dustin Fletcher, one of the oldest players to have played the game, but he had a lethal foot. Torps, you need him to win a game, done. You'd have him using it. Next to him is Patrick Ryder, currently playing for the St Kilda Saints. He's had played for three teams, Essendon, Port Adelaide and St Kilda. Sorry for that little quick interruption. You won't even notice it. So yes, so with this, from this page, we've got Brent Stanton, who I don't remember much about, but he was definitely a good player for them. Joe Watson, who got, Joe Watson, who got, who got his 2012 Brownlow relinquished from their drug scandal kind of thing. Hayden Valentine, who I once met when I was 
younger at school because someone in my class is related to him. Greg Broughton. Broughton? I'm pretty sure he played for the Gold Coast Suns for a bit. Or I might be getting it mixed up. Zach Clark, who people call the, the biggest use waste of space on footy teams. But he can be useful. I don't agree with that. you got Ryan Crowley, one of the most controversial men to ever play the game. we got Des Headland. Oh, on the other page. So there you go, we're missing another one. Stephen Dodd. I haven't haven't heard much of him. Paul Duffield. Anthony Grover. Paul Hazelby. Roger Hayden. As you can probably tell, I'm not a Dockers supporter. But I do know a bit about Fremantle, but just not a lot. Yeah. Sorry. I'm an Eagles supporter, as you can probably tell. Des Headland, Stephen Hill, who is still there all this time. Garrick Ibbotson, he was definitely a good defender for them. You got Michael Johnson, that's another one, another good defender. You got, uh, hey, you got Chris Main, who's currently playing for the Collingwood Magpies, which people said him being. In the 2018 Grand Final made them lose it. But I'm happy with that Grand Final. Yeah. There you go. There's another one missing. Jesus. Dockers have a shit ton in this thing. Which it's probably a WA thing. So maybe that makes sense. You've got Adam McPhee. Heard the name but don't remember much. David Mundy. Still going strong. He's like what? 36? 37 this year Yeah, that's a that's a unit of a midfielder of a midfielder right there Reese Palmer who has had some troubling off the field stuff recently, so Hope he has a good future. Yeah We've got their number one Leading goal kicker who will probably be take a while to be Caught up to, but it's possible. You've got Clancy Pierce. Don't remember much. You've got one of the tallest players to ever play, Aaron Sanderlands. I think Cox recently overtook his height. I'm talking Mason Cox from Collingwood. Brian Sk Scammell. Don't, haven't heard of much. Dean Solomon. Nick Subin. Chris Tarrant. Oh, that's a goat right here. Gary Ablett Jr. He had a he's had a good career. When he went to Gold Coast, his career did, probably didn't go the way he wanted it to go. But yeah. You can't you can't do it. You can't do anything about it. Jimmy Bartell, another good player. Paul Chapman, the the bold man duo between Gaza and Paul Chapman. Oh, their current captain, I believe. Joel Selwood. Oh, there's a WA local. Not local where I am, but a WA local. Lance Buddy Franklin for the Hawks. That was a sight to see. He hasn't been, he hasn't played there since, what, 2012, I think. Luke Hodge. That's, that's a true sportsman right there. Yep, not going to say anything else. Sam Mitchell. Enjoyed his year when he came to West Coast. Next you've got Bruce McAvaney's favourite son, basically. Cyril Rioli. Which sucks he cut his career short, but it's all, it happens. Then you've got Cameron Bruce. Aaron Davey. James McDonald. Brent Maloney. Missing a spot. Hamish McIntosh. Good Ruckman. Brady Rawlings. Andrew Swallow. Dominic Cassisi. Kane Corns. Dane Lee Dane Pierce. Dane Lee Pierce, I think. 
at the Port Adelaide Power, which a couple of years after this, he moved to Fremantle. After that, you've got Warren Treadway, who, in his career, kicked 539 goals. But if I don't remember if he played another year or so, but next you've got the biggest controversial player off field. Ben Cousins, but he was in Richmond Colours this time. But we're not going to talk about that here. Brett Delidio, Daniel Johnson, Daniel Jackson, I mean, sorry. Jackson, Chris Newman, that's a loyal man. At St Kilda now. Nick Del Santo, Brendan Goddard, Lee Montagna, another courageous footballer, Nick Rewalt. Adam Goods, he's definitely one of the best Aboriginal players to have played the game, but I don't have a say because, yeah. Brett Kirk, he was another good one. Ryan O'Key, remember that name? But don't remember how he played. Reece Shaw recently announced that he will be stepping down as the North Melbourne coach because mental health issues. It's, hope he gets better. Oops, I missed the page. We're at the West Coast section. Mitch Brown, Sam Butler, Adam Kuki, Big Coxie before Mason Cox came around. That was a good Ruckman. He definitely helped us win the 2006 Grand Final. Brad Ebert recently announced his retirement with Port Adelaide. When he, in this, he used to play for us. Got Andrew Embley, one of the better wingmen that we've had over the career, over the year, years. Glassy, great fullback who McGovern, I would say, has probably moved into the role he left. Ashley Hansen, decent utility, I believe. Tim Houlihan, don't remember much about him. Bunger, still going. Strong. Probably got another year in him. Brett Jones. And the person I was talking about before. Josh J. Kennedy for the Eagles. We definitely won that trade, I think. Daniel Kerr. Lecker. Which I've got some Lecker memorabilia around here. Quinton Lynch. The Q-Stick. Eric McKenzie. Just unfortunate injuries hit his career. Chris Marston, Ben McKinley. I know he moved to North Melbourne after this year, I think. He was a good forward when he played. Oh. Nick Natanui. What a star. Could go on about him, but I'll just... Won't rabble on. We've got Mark Nikoski, Matt Pritis, who won the 2014 Brownlow, Matt Rosa, who went to the Gold Coast Suns a couple years later, Adam Selwood, Scott Selwood, probably not as good as Joel Selwood, but they're still up there. Two more Eagles. Matt Spanger, don't remember much about him, but remember he was another true... Courage and sportsman. And Tom Swift, who at the moment I believe is a doctor or something like that. Yeah, he cut his career short to go do that. Into the last team, you've got the Western Bulldogs' Matthew Boyd, Adam Cooney, Brad Johnson, Brian Lake, who moved to the Hawthorne Hawks later on. And that's the end of, like, just the normal teams. There you go. we got a Jason Porplegia, Sharpshooter, 2009. Didn't, ha didn't have many of those, but the next one was Sharpshooter, 2009, Lance Franklin. I'll give you a better view of this. Looks pretty good. Just has some information on the back.
Oh, there's another sharpshooter, but I think you can tell that one's been a bit wrecked. Or if that's just the little sleeve. Oh, it might just be the sleeve. Okay. You got Goodsy, Adam Goods, Sharpshooter 2009. 2009 Best and Fairest. You've got Chris Yard, Sam Mitchell, and Nick Rewalt, Best and Fairest 2009 for the Saints. Which that was only three of those. And then this is all the players that were in this booklet. So, yes. We'll be right back. Yo, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more of this kind of style, I've got probably one, two, three, four, probably like maybe six more footy card booklets there that I can potentially do some more of these kind of videos in the future if this does well enough. So, yeah. Thank you. And... See ya.